Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, it's been like a year since I made my last one, so finally um, decided to start doing it again. Uh, so this video is going to be like a Lewis the Child uh, type of beat, uh, or inspired by them. Uh, so anyways, let's get into it. So first I got this uh, pluck, like metallic kind of sound uh, that's just made in serum. So let's lay down some chords with it. Take that, quantize it. Next, we'll just lay down some drums. Now for a snare. some hats as well. We'll just do 16th notes. Now for another lead song. fix the MIDI up on that one. So we'll lay down a move bass in the second half. Oh, I think I had my notes on the end off there. Okay, that's it for the verse. Oh, actually, there's this cool little um, it's a vocal that has a bunch of echo and reverb on it. Kind of makes like this cool guitar sound, so we'll put that in the second half too. And now we'll go into the build section. So we'll start with a uh, sub bass. So let's drag this up to saw. We're just going to go ahead and draw in some chords. Throw in some automation. Do the same for the chords above. Cut it off half a bar right before the drop. Now let's make something in the build. So I have some claps here. And then we'll put a kick. Okay, now on to the drop section. So we'll just start by laying down the drum beat. We'll 
some claps to kind of keep the movement going. And now up to the synths. Honestly, I'm just going to go ahead and draw all the synths off camera and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, so here's all my synths. Um, I freeze them just to save some of my CPU with using so much serum. Uh, but so I have two synths layered to make this first section. It's just got a little LFO automation and then I have this second wobble that comes in right after that. So if we look at the two together, there's and then I went ahead and just drew in some of the, ba the bass notes as well. So I have kind of this light sort of sub sound for that first uh, wobble synth. And then I have a layered, heavier sub for the second part. So if we hear both bass sounds. And then that layered with the synths. And now we need a lead sound. Let's give it a try. I'm just going to go ahead and draw in some of those MIDI notes and help fix those. And now that we have the lead in there, uh, and I fix everything, I think that's just about it for the beat. So. I'll let the beat play out at the end of the video, and hopefully I'll see you guys for another one. Peace.